Welcome to the first part of two campaigns designed to restructure Travelogy's current digital marketing strategy. Part one will focus on social media. The company background audit allowed us to build a clearer picture of the company and its position in the hospitality industry. Social media was pinpointed as an area that needed improvement. The proposal outlined the benefits of a successful social media campaign. I've even provided a comprehensive list which became our co corporate objectives. Google has since placed more emphasis on social media metrics in its new algorithms last year. So the more engaged your user, users are, this can improve your rankings. There are three key initiatives from which our campaign is based on. Palmer has analysed that the prolification of social media channels in the last decade means it is essential for companies to strategise an effective use of social media in customer management. We now have a specialised team dedicated to managing customer, customer support through social care. They operate 24 hours a day as the internet does not simply close down at 5pm. This slide details our primary and third party platforms from which people may like to contact us. Our social customer care team have a target response time of 12 hours. Since its introduction in February, we have achieved our target response time of 12 hours or less. However, 25% of responses have exceeded the 24 hour mark. This is not acceptable and we are looking at ways to reduce this figure. Here are two examples of our treatment of users on social media in response to their issues. It is essential that we are aware of everything that has been said about Travelodge on the web, listening for issues and then being able to respond appropriately. This may not necessarily result in a direct growth in sales, but it will boost customer attention and protect the brand image. In order to execute this, we have employed two social media monitoring tools, Google Alerts and Mention. Google Alerts allows us to monitor everything that has been said about Travelodge across the web, providing a constant feed of content regarding the company and it allows us to action any negative or defamatory comments within a quicker time period. As you can see from this slide, we've been strategic in the search terms that we've chosen. For example, keeping an eye on our competitor, Premier Inn, and being able to respond to queries as they're posted. Mention is another great tool that helps us keep on top of the company brand on the web. It lets you monitor search terms and provides color coding as to what the comments concern. This table provides sentiment data that helps us build a bigger picture of on which social channels we're mentioned the most. In our case, Twitter is the dominant platform on which Travelodge is discussed. Before the new campaign of social customer care, our responses became somewhat robotic, unimaginative and failed to give Travelodge any personality. Taking risks and knowing when to have a sense of humour and doing this correctly provides good publicity and positive electronic word of mouth marketing. Here's a good example. A concerned mother gets in touch with us regarding the whereabouts of her son's bear, and we went above and beyond with our response. It received a massive reaction both on social media and from the press. Relating back to the perceived benefits of social media marketing, it ticks all the boxes, creating brand warmth and loyalty, and the massive retweets benefited our SEO rankings. The next objective of ours was a review of the content being shared by Travelodge as it was failing to generate any significant engagement. We implemented the rule outlined by Fabric in which Travelodge share, it, share its content in thirds. One third directly plugging the product, a third of indirect content, and a third of unrelated content. We took on board comments made by Jonah Peretti, CEO of BuzzFeed, on the importance of producing content suitable for the social web. It has to be worth sharing and this in turn will increase traffic to our website. The bottom tweet on this slide is a prime example of that. Travelers now use trending hashtags on both Twitter and Facebook, being strategic in using the correct hashtags exposes us to a much wider audience. We use Google Analytics to measure the, measure the success and return on investment of our social content. The Social Vistas Flow Report paints a picture as to whether a promotion through social media has produced growth in sales. It details the initial paths visitors take from social networks when on the site. These conversion reports are also taken from Google Analytics. They allow us to measure how many clicks through our social media content have been converted into sales. Figure 1 demonstrates how many people came to our site through social media and continue to book a room. Figure 2 demonstrates which networks are bringing in the most conversion volume. Engagement metrics measure the number of user-generated interactions. 
These metrics have allowed us to identify which posts generate the highest conversion rate, conversation rate. Sorry. We then use this information to tailor our future posts to topics that we know our audience will enjoy. The final part of this presentation evaluates if we've achieved our objectives and if there are any flaws within the campaign. In respect to our original objectives, the campaign has largely been a success. Awareness of Travelodge has increased, demonstrated by our improved engagement metrics. Brand warmth has been achieved through our new approach to customer service, demonstrated by our, the response to the lost teddy. Our dedicated social care team and the use of social monitoring tools have given us an efficient style of customer care. Resolution time has sped up significantly. Our newfound personality and commitment to social care have strengthened customer loyalty and improved the image of the company as a whole. Analytics has allowed us to increase, to measure, sorry, the increased return on investment as a result of our social media efforts. And finally, our search engine optimization rankings have improved owing to our newfound shareable content. Although the campaign was mostly successful, it was not without its difficulties. One major difficulty with, uh, with our social media campaign was the fact that we had no control over user-generated content mentioning us. Here are two particularly unfavourable mentions. It shows how our compa campaign can backfire. We have combated this through continuing to make social customer care and positive relationship marketing a priority. Copywriting was also an issue as our logo was readily available on the social web. Third party abuse often occurred, as you can see from the slide. This resulted in unforeseen costly measures to combat this. So this concludes part one of our campaign to redesign Travelodge's digital marketing strategy. Thank you.